to my friends at Dyersburg Primary School. My name is Vanessa Kane. I'm the Children's Director here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library, and I'm here to share a book with you that goes along with your theme, Nature All Around Us, The Seasons. This book is called A Friend for All Seasons by May Matsusoko and Julia Hewberry. Those are some hard names to say. I hope I said them right. Let's look at this picture. Who do you think our friends would be? Who are our friends in this picture? Can you tell me some of the animals you see? Hmm. Let's find out. This book is published by Anthem and Books for Young Readers. And there we've got some friends again. I see a chipmunk, see his striped tail. I see a, a raccoon, see his mask over his eyes. Robbie Raccoon loved his home. He loved the long swishy grass, the sparkling stream, and the rustling trees. But most of all, Robbie loved. Let's look at his home, and then I'm going to show you the dot, 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 which means we have to turn the page to find out what, what else Robbie loved. But let's look at what he's got. There's Robbie. There's the rustling grass. What do you see in the rustling grass? I see some things that live in there. I see the stream. I see some things that live in there. And I see a tree up on the hill and some birds up on the up in the sky by the tree. I see some other smaller trees down here. What do you see in the picture? Do you see some things that I didn't see? Look at that for a minute and see what all Robbie had in his home. And then it said, but most of all, Robbie loved Old Father Oak. The big tree in the back. Robbie was born in a cozy den high in Father Oak's sturdy trunk. In the spring, he learned to climb on Father Oak's strong branches. That is his house. This is his home with all of the things around him. There's his home, and there is his house. And all summer long, he played with his friends Chip and Blackbird in the shade of Father Oak's green leaves. That looks like a fun place to play, doesn't it? On the first day of fall, Robbie woke early, kissed his mother, and tiptoed out to find Chip. But all Robbie found was a chilly, silvery mist. There he is, kissing his mama and going out to play. And there doesn't look the same, does it? It doesn't look the same as it did right there with all those big leaves in the summer. Why do you think there is a chilly, silvery mist? Why do you think the weather is changing? That happens when the seasons change, doesn't it? He crept to the end of the branch where he found a pretty golden leaf. Should I pick it? Would Father Oak mind? Oh, all those leaves aren't green anymore. They're turning other colors. Suddenly, the leaf dropped, twirling away in the mist. And look at how they did the words to show how the leaf fell down. I love it when they do that with words on the page of a book. <gasps> Maybe Father Oak wants me to have it. As Robbie scampered after it, another leaf dropped out of the mist, and then another and another. Robbie rushed to catch them all, but there were too many. chilly mist made Robbie shiver. Maybe Father Oak is cold too, he thought. So he gathered the leaves and piled them over Father Oak's roots. Just then Chip peeked out from Father Oak's trunk. There he is, tucking Father Oak in for the fall and the winter, isn't he? He's trying to make sure he's warm. That's a very good friend. Robbie, what are you doing? I'm making a blanket for Father Oak. He's losing his leaves because he's cold, answered Robbie. But they're still falling, said Chip. Maybe he's crying. Father Oak must be sad. Let's give him a hug, said Robbie. And there, they are talking about poor Father Oak who's losing his leaves. The friends put their arms around Father Oak and hugged him, but still the leaves fell. Blackbird, come and help us, called Robbie. Father Oak is crying, so let's hug our hugest hug and sing our happiest song. 
They're singing Woke, Robbie's mother. What's happening, she asked. Father Oak's crying all his leaves away and we're trying to cheer him up, they said. Don't worry, little ones. He's not crying. Oh, I'm so glad mommies are around to tell us some things sometimes. But it's your first fall. You don't know why leaves are falling, do you? He's telling us that fall is here and winter is coming, Robbie's mother said. What is winter? They asked. Winter is cold, dark, sleepy time when all the leaves and flowers hide and sleep. Winter sounds horrible, said Robbie. But without winter, we couldn't get ready for spring, said Mother. What should we do with Father Oak's leaves then, asked Robbie. We'll make our own blankets, said Mother. It's almost time for us to take our winter nap. Soon Robbie saw that all the animals were busy gathering leaves and food for the winter. Here's Mama telling them why the leaves are falling. And there's all those busy animals collecting leaves and nuts and all kinds of things for their dens so that they can go to sleep in the winter. Through the golden fall days, Robbie and his mother ate and ate until they were fat, fat as could be. Is it time for our winter nap yet, Robbie asked. Not quite, said his mother. We still have a favor to do for Father Oak. And she gave F Robbie five acorns. Ooh. What do you think they'll do with the acorns to help Father Oak? What do you think? Can you think of something? We must make beds for them, she said, so they dug five little holes and tucked the acorns snugly into the ground. Why do they need beds, asked Robbie. They'll sleep all winter just like us, she said, and when spring comes, well, it's a surprise. There they planted those little five acorns, tucked them into their bed and let them sleep all winter. They curled up together in their den. Robbie's mother sang a winter lullaby until Robbie fell sound asleep. I like their little heart-shaped den, don't you? That's pretty cool. Snug inside Father Oak, they drowsed away dark days of wind and ice and snow. There's the wind and the ice and the snow. I gotta peek out so I can make sure you can see what I'm showing you. One morning, Robbie woke to a tingle in the air. He poked his nose out of the den. Father Oak's branches sparkled with tiny new leaves. Mommy, he shouted. I think it's spring now. She rubbed her eyes and peeked out. Do you think it's spring now? Look, said Robbie excitedly. There on the ground below was a wonderful surprise. From each little acorn bed, two tiny oak leaves pushed up into the sun. Our acorns have turned into tiny oaks. We have big acorns. You think they'll ever get that big? So they have, his mother smiled. And if you help Father Oak look after them, one day they will become big oak trees. More friends for you to love. And that is the end of that book. Have you ever thought about a tree being your friend in all seasons? I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next week.